Bonjour. I'm Anaïs Lelouch, and I'm taking you on a journey to discover one of Australia's most talented artists and his solo exhibition at RMIT Design Hub in Melbourne, the one and only Brooke Andrew. Follow me, we're going to go and check it out. I'm standing in front of Brooke Andrews' Di Anima, a moving image work in three screens, which is actually the most ambitious cinematic work done by the artist to date. We can see the performance of an indigenous singer, Mama Alto, and also of Justin Shoulder as they weave in from a kind of lunar landscape together with historical and archival images which are tied into the narrative. This is one of Brooke Andrews' uh, Cabinet of Curiosities, which brings in together some archive and photographs from his personal collection. But also, you can find objects of significance to some of his collaborators in the show, such as Theodore Wang, who contributed a piece of music and a musical instrument. So there's crystals, skulls, archival material, photographs. It's really a very rich compilation. In this triptych of frames, Brooke Andrew places his pattern, which he uses a lot and transposes onto different objects, the Wurundjeri pattern, to frame uh, illustrations uh, taken from an English newspaper called The Globe in the 19th century. And what these illustrations represent are the kind of stereotypes associated with indigenous culture and the danger, really, that the indigenous people would represent. Standing in front of Brooke Andrews' Horizon, which is a, a work designed specifically for RMIT's very long corridor. So it's about 20 meters long. And what you see is an assemblage of different neons, of different colors, that form a horizon line. It leads to the ideas of the horizon and landscape painting. And it also brings in historical images, uh, found images. It's a wonderful balance of how poetics and politics can really talk about our culture. That was Brooke Andrews' Di Anima. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. See you soon. Au revoir.